Good afternoon. Welcome to our Dell Music Lounge live audience, uh, which is packed to the rafters. Say hello. <laughs> Want to thank our friends at Dell at Cigar City Brewing and Torchy's Tacos fed an early dinner to our live audience. Uh, a rare 530 lounge. Normally do these 12 or 1. But Snow Patrol, gracious enough to come on a day off before a sold-out show at ACL Live at the Moody Theater. So there's no reason for you to be here, so thank you for that. <laughs> thank you. For Hopefully a reason. <laughs> I saw that in a week or so there's going to be a BBC documentary, 25 Years on the Road, is the mm. title of it. Yeah. Uh, how do you wrap your head around that number, first of all? Yeah, it's, it's difficult to contemplate, really. I, um, I started the band when I was 18, and that means that I'm 25 years older than that now, which doesn't feel right, because I should be a lot more grown up than I am. But, um, but, uh, but yeah, it's been uh, 25 years. They went somewhere. But, yeah. I imagine for the first five, seven years of that 25 years, it's a lot of bucket list stuff. It's a lot of around every corner is some kind of new experience or surprise. Mm. You'd think. You'd think. You'd think, yeah. I mean, uh, the first 10 years of our career, we, we spent pretty much um, pl uh, selling no albums, playing to no one. Um, <laughs> maybe 20 people a show, sometimes one person. Um, so there would be more people in the, uh, on the stage than in the audience, which is never a good look. Um, uh, so that, those first 10 years before we had our first hit, um, which was Run, which is in 2004, um, we, we, um, we were kind of... Uh, we had a lot of things that we were a lot of people in our lives telling us you should really get a proper job um and uh, and at the time they were right and they might still be right who knows but a lot of those things that have happened those bucket list items have happened they and have, now yeah, this yeah. is okay, interesting fine, fine. for new reasons right i mean there's new I in some ways because of the eight-year break i'm sure it feels like a comeback even though you didn't go away are there is there that too? Yeah, we, uh, well, we did. We were away for seven years, and uh, it was uh, that felt like a long, a long time while we were away. And then when we got, well, we didn't get, we didn't ever separate, so we didn't get back together. But when we got back on tour, it felt like we were away for no time at all. Um, so, so that time just sort of evaporated. But um, in the middle of that seven years, it felt like thirty. <laughs> You've been very open, and I, and I should point out that, Austin, we have something called the Sims Foundation, uh, which finds mental health care for Austin musicians. We have uh, another organization, the Health Alliance for Austin Musicians, who find low-cost, regular health care for musicians. And you've been really open that part of that eight years, uh, you were struggling with depression and sobriety. Um, and I was struggling with the other thing. Well, right. Drunk drunkenness? But drunkenness, yeah. yes. <laughs> but ultimately, talking about it, has that been sort of healthier than you thought it might be? Yeah, I thought when we were about to release this album, I thought when people would run f f uh, away from the stuff that I was talking about in it. But that hasn't, has, that hasn't been the case at all. In fact, people seem to be um, taken to this album more deeply than any record that we've ever made, and it, it, it makes me feel... I'm very proud that that's that that's happened. I, I I just thought I never really shared my demons before I was 40, um, and then I started to talk about it with friends, with a therapist, and uh, finally telling my mother <laughs> things like that. Um, well, she's Irish, so she blamed it on herself. Um, <laughs> I'm like, mom, I'm trying to have a conversation with you here, but now. Um, uh, so it's um, you know so it's it's uh, it was a new landscape for me uh, you know so uh, I'm very I'm, I'm I feel I'd like to thank everybody that, that that bought the new record or that has commented on those things and said that it meant something to them because it it means a lot to me when that when that happens. Was fear that you couldn't be as creative one of the fears? It couldn't be as creative without uh, drink. without drinking. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. Also, I was I knew that there was demons in there. I just didn't want to face them. And when you get sober, that's one thing that happens with it, whether you like it or not, is that they all come up to the surface. The things you've been drowning in booze all come up to have a party in your head and you got to you got to face up to it. In that eight years, one of the things you did 
was you're in Game of Thrones for a few seconds. Uh, you are... Ten glorious seconds. I think the whole crux of the show, in fact, I think that my character really... Clearly, they sent they you the final script. As well, yeah, yeah. I survived Game of Thrones. I get the T-shirt <laughs> and everything. And you never know, I might end up on the Iron Throne. That still could happen. <laughs> I didn't do any filming for this new season, but that doesn't really mean I don't. Or did he? <laughs> Has that been a weird subculture to just be in for those 10 seconds, where, where now you're associated with that piece of cultural phenomena? Yeah, I, I, you know, I'm very proud to have been uh, to have spent the day on set. The, the, they film in Northern Ireland, uh, 20 minutes from where I live. So um, it was uh, it was great to it was great to feel not only just part of that set, but like the feel the 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 such the the, the extraordinary thing that they've given to Northern Ireland, which is really they've made it a, a film destination. People come from all over the world to film in Northern Ireland now, and it's because of Game of Thrones, really. I saw you recently say that chasing cars, that you like it because, and I've never seen anyone describe it this way, the way it unifies an audience. I mean, we, we know about the energy exchange between a band and an audience when things are going well or when there's a familiar song, but the unification of the audience is an interesting phenomenon. Well, I, I, you know, I think we all see ourselves as music fans. We're not, we're not separated from the audience. We want those moments I and mean, chasing cars and run and open your eyes and just say yes. And we got the songs that people engage with and sing along to that, that they, that they feel like it's a, it's a, it's a communal thing that music is boundless, you know, and that those moments that show us that we're all the same, you know, it doesn't, uh, that, that, uh, people can kind of forget, forget what's going on in their day. And we can forget too what's going on with our day on the stage, you know, and that's a, that's a beautiful thing. I mean, that, that happened after 10 years of playing um, small clubs and then we have, start to have hits and then people start singing along. The very first time people start singing along to one of your songs in an audience is like, I couldn't keep my stuff together on stage. <laughs> I was, I was uh, I'm glad we I, had that talk before we went. We did it. have a talk beforehand, <laughs> keeping it family. Um, and. Uh, we're, uh, you know, like uh, it, it was emotional, you know, when people do it, and it still is. It brings that first experience back to me every time, and I feel like uh, this, is, this is something special. All right. Well, if you're uh, a regular in our Dell Music Lounge or you listen to them on the radio, ideally, uh, then you're wondering if they're ever going to play, whether this is just an interview. It's not. They're here, ready to play, and they're going to play uninterrupted. So please welcome on Austin City Limits Radio to our Dell Music Lounge, Snow Patrol. <laughs> Thank you. Not uh, giving you a disclaimer here or anything, but um, I, um, I've kind of lost my voice a bit. So well, let's see how this goes. There might be a few notes where you're thinking, hmm, hang on a minute, was that supposed to be that? And you'd be right. Uh, Ron? Yeah. Are you going to come in with me? Yeah, we've planned this before. <laughs>
louder, louder. And we'll run for our lives. I can hardly speak. I understand why you can't raise your voice to say. It's so hard not to cry And as we say our long goodbyes I nearly do Light up, light up As if you have a choice Louder, louder, and we'll run for our life. I can hardly speak, I understand why you can't raise your voice to say. Light up, light up. As if you have a choice, even if you cannot hear my voice, I'll be right beside your tear. Thank you very much. Yeah, it was a little bit of a note safari there a couple of times, but we got there. Um, <clears throat> Empress? This is all planned. Um, how do we start against again? I got oh, yeah, cool. I got you. <laughs> You're angry, but you don't know how to be that yet. It seems too much went wrong and all at once. Resistance seems impossible from down this low. And surely no one else can feel like this. But on the streets, you can see them gathering, and in your heart, you know they feel like you do. Sound and pulse and volume, hands just reaching out for hands, it's almost overload. Almost overload Friends and foes Princess We're all just human in the end So damn simple, yeah So damn simple So standing in the steady throng of restless hope you don't feel like an outcast anymore and Something deep inside of you has wakened up And you know the 
but nothing's gonna be the same again and on these streets you can see for what seems miles because in your heart you know they feel like you do sound and pulse and volume hands just reaching out for hands this is almost overload I said almost overload friends and foes and princess oh oh just human in the ends so damn simple yeah so damn simple Mind won't be still, it may not again. You don't think it will, but it will, it will. Sound and pulse and volume, hands just reaching out for hands. This is so damn simple, yeah. This is so damn simple. Thank you very much. It's good to be back in Austin again. This is, uh, uh, anybody got any requests? Uh, chocolate, somebody said chocolate, somebody said chasing cars. You get in first, so oh, there you are. Well done. Olive Grove with the state my voice is in, I'm afraid. It's too high. But that was a very sweet request from our second album that nobody bought. Um, it's hard to beat that, but that was it's close. I appreciate the appreciate the effort from a deep cut. Um, okay, chocolate. You good? I'm great. I know you're great. You're very <laughs> handsome as well. You make me feel good when you say. Thank you. Ah, it's all right. Do we continue this afterwards, or <laughs> we, we can do it now if you want. <laughs> Think clearer 
goodness knows I saw it coming Or at least I'll claim I did But in truth I'm lost for words What if I turn it's too late for a lie What have I become? Truth is nothing yet The simple mistake for me. Um, the, uh, uh, this is uh, the last song and thank you very much for coming today um, and uh, thank you for having us. Uh, <laughs> 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 Completely uh, upstairs. <laughs> what, wow. Whatever, whatever we were playing for, you won. <laughs> whatever the game was, whatever life is, you just won it. <laughs> thank you. What's your name? Bradley. Th well, thank you for, um, thank you for, just what you did there. That was hilarious. Um, and also very polite. You, you, you win the competition of politeness and hilarity. Um, and this is for you. Let's do it all. Everything on our If I lay here, if I just lay here, would you lie with me and just forget the world? It's so quiet, no, how to say.
just forget the world Forget what we are souls Before we get too old Show me a garden that's bursting into life If I lay here, if I just lay here, would you lie with me and just forget the world? Thank you very much. Snow Patrol live on Austin City Limits Radio. Thank you, gentlemen. Thank you very much.